All right, guys. Well, it has actually been a fairly decent day here in the end times. Not a, it was spectacularly gorgeous this morning, but then it just turned to shit again, like it always does. Uh, but it is now a Friday evening, September 27, 2024. And uh, so... This is just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at these videos of Hurricane Helene in, uh, in, in Fort Myers. I guess this is what Fort Myers looked like uh, this morning. I don't know if, if some other video is going to gonna play again. So, uh, glad to say it doesn't look like this. Uh, <laughs> here in Candor, New York, give it a few days and it might. So anyway, I, 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 I just need to, I just need to tell this story. Tell this story. Uh, so my brother, we'll call him Billy Bob, who I have not spoken to since the, uh, since, uh, Corona panic and, in, in, uh, 2020, he is, one of one of the many casualties of corona panic uh so anyway my brother is is not a clueless moron well i i didn't think so you, you need to understand this man uh he has a bachelor's degree in political science from uh, from Emory University and a master's in journalism from the University of Minnesota. I think that this man has published uh, seven books. I think he's published seven books. Well-known author and photographer, uh, and, and and it mostly from from his main working years in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the guy uh, is about, he's a Trump tard like Sancho Panza is, is a pit bull. Uh, okay. Uh, my brother uh, is not a Trump tard. He despises the ground that, that Donald Trump walks on. What else can I say? Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm just trying to set the scene. So in any, anyway, this man, when he retired, uh, just, just a luck of the draw, he retired uh, in the early 2000s, sold his house in Atlanta at the top of the market right before it crashed, took that money uh, down to Fort Myers at the bottom of the market. The, the, the guy would just, just, he hit the absolute uh, real estate jackpot on the sell and the buy. So he goes down there in 2009 to Fort Myers where he was actually born. So he was, he, he was literally heading back, I guess, to his, to his, uh, hometown and I uh, don't know why I'm seeing the Beatles all of a sudden so he uh, he heads back to his hometown and uh, buys this house in the the, the middle of an, an obvious floodplain in Fort Myers so he's He's down in the historic district of uh, 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 Fort Myers, and he bought a house, I believe that was built in, uh, I believe was built in 1914. So the house was 95 years old, this beautiful historic home uh, in, in, uh, in Fort Myers. And I said, Billy Bob, uh, I said, do you understand 
that that this uh, that this house and this entire city is heading under water. Uh, this is uh, Sarasota. Uh, haven't heard uh, from Sandy about her mother. Uh, I, 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 I said, Billy Bob. I said, you you understand that uh, that your house is going to be underwater. And he absolutely laughed me off. Uh, Hambone, this house has been here for 95 years without one inch of water in it. And, uh, you know, I'm already, I guess he was probably 65 uh, when he retired. He probably my age. And he goes, you know, I'm 65 years old. Uh, I, I'm going to be long gone before there's any blah, blah, the fuck, blah, you know, laughing me off. Uh, okay, Doomer. And uh, he moves in the house. In uh, 2009, makes this absolutely beautiful home until, was, was it one or two years ago that Hurricane Ian, has it already been two years since Ian? I think it was Idea. I Maybe it was two years ago. It was either one or two years ago. We all know the story. He got completely gobsmacked in that, uh, in, in that hurricane, I mean, absolutely destroyed his uh, his house, uh, seven feet of water in it, his cars floating down the street. I don't think they ever found the goddamn cars. Completely fucking ruined. Uh, I, I don't know the story since I haven't spoken to him since 2020. I just follow his tales of woe through my sister. So uh, I, I am quite sure that Billy Bob had not made any preparations through his insurance company. So anyway, the, the bottom line was after he collected whatever the little bit he did from whatever insurance policy he did have, he was $70,000. $70,000 fucked. Uh, after he had tapped out, after he and my sister-in-law had tapped out, fortunately, we have a rich sister. And I don't think there's any chance of my sister uh, or my brother hearing this video. So my rich sister, bless her heart, I don't know the details. I don't know if she just gave him $70,000 or loaned him $70,000. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. But anyway, she came up uh, since, uh, since no insurance company did. He leans on his rich kid sister. She ponies up $70,000 fucking dollars. And I said, Linda Lou, uh, I said, you understand you're flushing $70,000 down the toilet. I said, this is going to happen again in the next few years. Uh, you know, well, what can I need? Anyway, what was done was done. None of my fucking business that, that, that my sister wants to piss $70,000 down the fucking toilet. And uh, so anyway, he got a little more serious uh, uh, about getting insurance. <coughs> so while the house is being rebuilt, pretty much, uh, it's not like it got knocked off the foundation. You know what I'm saying? Uh, while, while the contractors were in there and stuff... So he goes and he gets his insurance policy. What do you think his insurance policy was that he shelled out last year? That you know to cover this year, sixteen thousand dollars. I have no idea what the deductible is. So they go in another sixteen thousand dollars. So now we're talking 
it is eighty six thousand dollars, and I don't know. Uh, obviously, before he he hit up uh, his kid's sister, uh, no doubt that uh, that he and my sister in law had already spent thousands more. It wouldn't surprise me if we're well over a hundred thousand fucking dollars. Uh, call it a hundred thousand, minimally eighty six thousand fucking dollars. Uh, so anyway, so they've been getting the house all, and they, you know, all fixed up, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming they, 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 they both had to get new vehicles, uh, that, that were destroyed, uh, in, in Ian, uh, all of this shit, uh, they, they were just settling, just finishing up everything, and, uh, and, and climbing back in the saddle, uh, kicking back for their retirement, and, and guess what the fuck happened last night? I thought this goddamn, uh, I, I, I thought this goddamn hurricane uh, was, was supposed to hit the, uh, the, the damn panhandle or wherever it did hit. Now this, as I say, this is Sarasota. This is Valdosta, Georgia. Here, I guess, but uh, but but anyway. So here he is today. So my brother, uh, today is right back where he was two years ago. Two fucking years of his life, eighty six thousand uh, dollars at least uh, down the fucking toilet. And, and now a, a good luck uh, on making the, these goddamn insurance claims, uh, whatever that fucking deductible is. Uh, <laughs> good fucking God. Uh, how these, you know, these college-educated, intelligent people with fucking master's degrees... Uh, his his wife had a master's degree. The, 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 these are not stupid people. Uh, okay, Doomer. Uh, you know, uh, we will see if he does. I'm assuming, surely, at this point, that uh, that that he's just gonna say fuck this. And um, and and cut his losses, but uh, you know what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, it, 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 is it going to take for people to get the goddamn message? How many people in Fort Myers right now? Uh, and and and, and it's, it's not just my brother. Uh, there's probably half a million fucking people. Uh, in the exact same boat as him right now, there's probably a half million fucking people uh, w with this, uh, y y you know, this possum in the headlights, surprise look in the in their face. That this, how did this happen again? There, there's something about a fucking uh, about a fucking cat jumping on a hot stove twice. So my sister sends me this long email. Uh, you know, all of this shit, blah, 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 talking about how my fucking niece is, is, is on full freak out and blah, 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 and that they're totally fucked. And, 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 uh, and, and, and my response, uh, well, let's read my, my response to my, to my dear sweet sister uh, when I heard the news. Uh, of how my uh, of how my clueless uh, moron brother was going through this a second time. What was my response to her freak out uh, email that I woke up to at noon today? Um, let's see. I won't read. Uh, excuse the gauche tone here, 
but I have exactly zero sympathy for those two clueless fucking morons. They have exactly nobody but themselves to blame. Please tell me you are not flushing one more penny of your money down the toilet, bailing out those two fucking idiots. I have no sympathy for my own fucking brother. Zero. I, I, I have zero sympathy for my own brother, for any clueless fucking moron uh, in his position today. None whatsoever. And yes, I am a, uh, a, a Florida real estate investor. And as far as I can determine, uh, there is absolutely zero damage to any of my real estate uh, holdings because uh, the stuff I own in Florida is like 50 miles inland. Uh, now, uh, will I end up being the clueless moron? I mean, I'm going to sell them, you know, next year. And, and I probably will not be buying any more real estate uh, in Florida, investing in human stupidity uh, after I sell these places uh, next year, you know, 50 miles inland uh, from the coast. But uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. What 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 the, what the hell uh, the, these people do uh, who have been completely fucked uh, two times in two years? It might not. It's probably not going to take two years. It could happen again in two weeks. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest, and uh, I got to get my. Uh, <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's time for me to get my ain't gonna happen again roundup rant uh, over there on that other channel. Yes, I, I, I can see my brother uh, in 2009 looking at me, rolling his eyes. Hammond, it ain't gonna happen in my lifetime. There is no fucking chance that this 95-year-old house that has never had a drop of fucking water in it is going to flood uh, as long as I'm alive. Ain't going to happen, Hambo. <laughs> Famous last words. It's probably a good thing that he and I have... Uh, stop speaking to each other uh, because uh, can you imagine the I told you so and it's going to be fucking hard for me n not to send that, that stupid motherfucker a, a, an I told you so uh, email will I be able to resist after three stiff drinks we shall see <laughs>